Hello, I'm Dr. Bob Bartlett, President for the American College of Hyperbaric Medicine, and I'm here today with a very important message regarding the Radiation Research Registry. This study is important because it will help to clarify the utility of hyperbaric therapy in managing the late effects of radiation injury. Why is this study important? Blue Cross Blue Shield and other insurance companies are now questioning the value of hyperbaric therapy in managing these patients. We have found that the evidence for this, in their opinion, is considered marginal. So it is incumbent on us, the practicing community, to provide that evidence. The hospitals can't do it. The patients can't do it. Only you, the practicing physicians at the bedside, those of you who have seen the difference, the true difference that hyperbaric therapy can make for these patients with radiation injuries. So join us here at the American College of Hyperbaric Medicine in this landmark study of radiation research. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Nisgoda, the Vice President for the American College of Hyperbaric Medicine, and I serve as the Medical Director for the Center for Comprehensive Wound Care and Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy at St. Luke's Medical Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As most of you are aware, Dr. Eric Kinwald was closely associated and still is active in our practice here in Milwaukee. Dr. Kinwall and I have discussed this research registry at great length, and he fully supports the Re Radiation Necrosis Research Registry. Dr. Kinwall currently serves as the Executive Director for the American College of Hyperbaric Medicine. Dr. Kinwald, myself, and Dr. Bob Bartlett invite you to listen to what our colleagues have to say about this research registry. Hello, I'm Dr. Caroline Fife. For 17 years, I've been the Director of Hyperbaric Medicine at the Memorial Hermann Hospital and the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston, Texas. I'm Cianci. I've been practicing hyperbaric medicine for 25 years. I served as president of the Undersea and Hyperbaric Medical Society uh, and continue to practice in California. Brad Bailey, I'm a practicing wound care and hyperbaric physician from San Diego, California for the last five years, and I am a member of the American College of Hyperbaric Medicine. Michael Strauss, I'm an orthopedic surgeon and director of the Hyperbaric Medical Unit at Long Beach Memorial Medical Center. Alan Lewis, I'm one of the doctors here at Long Beach Memorial, and I work at Camarillo Pleasant Valley Medical Center. As a past president of the Undersea and Hyperbaric Medical Society, we frequently ran into challenges where uh, carriers did not want to pay for various types of care for patients. We don't want that decision to be made on the basis of inadequate data when we have the ability to provide that information. That I would have treated approximately 800 patients with soft tissue radionecrosis or osteoradionecrosis, most of whom were referred to us from MD Anderson Cancer Center. I would estimate that over the uh, 32 years that we've been in existence, we've treated one and a half to two patients a month, which means that we uh, managed over uh, approximately 600 patients with radiation injuries. The whole crux of the matter is that we're very selective and the clinicians to whom we are referred, the patients, know that we're there almost as a last resort. That is, the, the traditional interventions for dealing with radiation injury are used. And when they fail, then they call on us to use hyperbaric oxygen. As a result of hyperbaric therapy, those patients have been able to keep their colons, their bladders, their vocal cords, and have had their lives changed as a result of hyperbaric therapy. I would like to encourage all clinicians involved in hyperbaric oxygen therapy to provide data for this endeavor. It could make the difference between being able to care for these patients and not being able to do so. I heartily endorse the establishment of the Radiation Necrosis Registry. I wholeheartedly support their Radiation Research Registry. Please support this study, which is going to be so vital to hyperbaric medicine. Uh, we have an opportunity to um, move our field more to the forefront and to get these patients the treatment that they need. So please, uh, take the time, the little bit of time that it would take to provide these case reports so that we can get this information into the hands of people who can analyze it and hopefully save this treatment modality for these patients who need it. Thank you. I'm Dr. Bob Bartlett, 
President for the American College of Hyperbaric Medicine. And I'm Dr. Jeffrey Nisgoda, Vice President for the college. Thank you. Thank you for your time and support in this study. We both thank you. You can make a difference.